What's up, YouTube? Back again with another video. So, kind of like a day in the life kind of thing of, you know, my work schedule. Um, today is Tuesday, the 28th. June 28th. Um, this is my second shift for this week. I'm going to be busy for the next few days. I think I'm on for like, oh man, probably like 12 days, 12 shifts for the next 13 days. So we're going to be busy uh, working through July 4th weekend. We had plans to go to California and we weren't scheduled to work, um, another supervisor and I, but we got put back on the schedule to cover shift so got a cover shift we're working here at the um for defiance field office well i am i've been traveling back and forth from chin Lee every day for like the past six weeks um helping the cover shift and being a night shift supervisor um so it's been pretty good Pretty good experience getting some experience as a supervisor but you know i've been busy for like the past two ever since i got here i've been getting like four three to four calls every night and we have to do our report so a couple weeks ago i had to cover for the other supervisor who who was on on annual leave which she has to use up some of her use or lose hours so I had to cover a shift like during the day and um they kind of set me back because i had to do some of um the fourth of july duties like getting you know meeting set up and then doing memos and stuff but it's okay um so last night we had three calls here in fort defiance area well actually four calls and I got home like around 9.30. Got home around 9.30 to about, it takes me about an hour and a half to get home. Um, 9.30, got home, um, changed out, out of my uniform, got ready for for my workout. Um, worked on some, um, some weights. Got that done, had lunch for about 30 minutes and then I stayed up for a bit I think I don't remember because you know after a while I got tired um stayed up for a bit and fell asleep I think I slept from like maybe 1 30 to 4 o'clock 1 30 to 3 30 1 30 to 3 30 I fell asleep and then um got up and started cooking made some enchiladas um, got that done and then had to hurry up and come into work. So by that time, by the time I got into work, it was about 6.15. And um, we left, or I left, got here at uh, 7.40. So I'm um, here in the parking lot, ready to go in. And then after that, after we do our ambulance checkoff and everything, our, our shift reports, and then we go back. I got to do my reports. I'm like 10 reports behind. So I got to get that done tonight. Um, so yeah, tomorrow we have a staff meeting. Another meeting for the 4th of July. Where we're having um, people from Shiprock. And uh, Shift from... Or uh, people from Chin Lee Help cover the rodeo for the 4th of July. So that's going to be going on. So... We'll see how it goes. I'll try to get updated through update you guys throughout the night and then throughout the day tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. So we're gonna gas up the ambulance. We had a call already. Well, we got in, made our report. We got a call, so we had to go out. I think it's about close to nine o'clock now. 
We're at the motor pool refueling. I'm gonna show you wind rock, but it's um too dark. That's where Shane Bully went hiking on his live the other day. We went back to toward Wind Rock. So that's it for now. Gassing up. Wait for other calls, do my reports. I gotta catch up on my reports now, I got 11. Day in the life. All right, YouTube, so this is where we respond from. This is the trailer on the fairgrounds. This is where we usually uh, just kick back at and wait for calls. And then um, we respond from here. This place is haunted. Something always knocks on that corner over there. Something's always knocking on that corner in the middle of the night. It's like the crew here has some uh, stories about this place. Fairgrounds. They're getting ready, setting up tents. So. Lunch break. Just had some McDonald's or ain't nothing else to eat. So usually don't, usually don't eat, but got hungry. The only thing that was open was McDonald's. So just eating McDonald's. Seven, almost seven twenty. The past seven twenty. Clearing out from the base station. We're gonna head it back. We're gonna be headed back to Fort Defiance, the ER. Um, clear out. Then I got to change for the meeting, for the staff meeting. So we headed back that way. So I have to run to the dollar store get some stuff for our staff meeting. We got inspection. <clears throat> kind of running late, so gotta hurry up and get my stuff done. Um, gotta shine my boots real quick. Quick shine with these. I put on my shirt and we're done. So, see you after I get done dressing up. So, there we go. First time wearing this in a couple of years. We switched out our um, dress, dress code to regular t shirts because of COVID. And now we've got these back on. So here we go. That's what we should be wearing, supposedly. But all this stuff is cooler. It's hot in these, so. So staff meeting time. So it's finally, we're finally done with the meeting. 
1244, 1245. We had to do um, like a briefing for the fair for the 4th of July celebration here in Wind Rock. Um, had a our medical director, Dr. White, come out from Albuquerque and give us some case reviews and and um, you know going over our what we need to do to um, kind of criticizing our, our reports. But we we did good. He picked three three reports that he picked out. They're all good. Good job to the EMTs for for the job they did on those reports and those uh, calls. So other than that, I got to be back tonight at 8 o'clock. So driving back to Chinle, haven't eaten yet. Just had some of the drink. That was it. Driving back to Chinle, uh, workout, start cooking for dinner. I don't know, where, I don't know when I'm going to get some rest. So last night I just did all my reports. Um, I think I have a couple left to do for tonight. Uh, last night was the first time I only got one call throughout the night. First time, and I'm glad that I only got one call. So it was a good night for for EMS. Good shift for for me. Only added one report, but um, other than that, we'll see what happens tonight again. So we'll see how long how long I get to sleep. What's up, YouTube? Finally back in Chinle. It's 2:42. Just got back from Chinle, so now we're gonna go, gonna go home, get some rest, get changed out, and I don't know if I'm gonna lift some weights. I need to lift some weights, but let's see how I feel after I change out. But um. Uh, if not, then got to start cooking later and then um, head back out to Windrock again or Fort Defiance for work. So we'll see what happens. What's up YouTube? Headed back to work, leaving Chinle. Um, it's 6.30 right now. I should be on the road, but kind of a late start. That'll be back in Fort by 7.45. So, getting out of here. I didn't work out. I laid down, got lazy, and fell asleep. So I fell asleep. I think I slept for a couple hours. I know the last time I looked at the clock was like 3.30. And I woke up at 5.30. Um, when I came back I had I had bought some shoes and and um, I sold them bought a few pairs of shoes and I've just been reselling them here they're pretty good but um, other than that going back to work and uh, this is my Friday for 12 hours and I go back to work on Friday 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 night so that's when the fair starts or the celebration starts and see what happens talk to you when we're probably in um, when I'm back in Fort so talk to you Sure all the lights are working. This is all the stuff we gotta check off. working oxygen's good just gotta wait for some other uh, equipment holy 
these ambulances. So each one of these are three hundred and thirty thousand dollars. So with ours parked right here, one and a half million. Gassing up again. You can see Window Rock on the top of this building. to get rain. It's rained here for the past three days. Good to get the rain though. No complaints. St. Baloo's hiking area over here. All the way behind there and that whole backside. Need to go over there one time. Wish I could run. All these travel vehicles. First time seeing the sign right here. You are now entering the most dangerous part of the world, the public highway. Locking up. Just showed up like that. I even typed that in. Told you stuff happens in here. <laughs> 